Google Cloud Storage Bucket is the best way to save your object files. It could be an image, it could be a video, it could be static sites, HTML pages, so on and so forth. But the problem with Google Cloud Storage Bucket is it cannot be used as a file system, meaning let's just say you have a virtual machine and you wanted to use one of your buckets as your file system, you cannot use it today. But there is a way how you can uh, implement it. Uh, Google has this adapter called Cloud Storage Fuse, which will attach your drive in your virtual machine to a Google Cloud Cloud Storage Bucket, and thereby that Cloud Storage Bucket can be used as a, as a file system. You can read through what exactly Cloud Storage uh, Fuse is and how it can be implemented uh, from uh, from official GitHub page. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a cloud storage fuse to your bucket so that you can start using a bucket as a file storage. It's very simple. So first I need to create a virtual machine. So even before creating a virtual machine, let's just create a service account. In this case, since my, my intent is to use storage bucket. I just simply named it as a storage service account for SFTP. And what this service account has from, from a role perspective, it's a storage admin, meaning it has all the rights to do things on a storage bucket. So once I have the storage bucket, I will then go to a compute engine service and create a new virtual machine. In this case, I'm going to create SFTP instance. So I've already created it. It runs on Red Hat, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and and the service account that it's using is the service account that I just created. So this is the service account. So once I once I have this, uh, the next step I need to create a GCS bucket. In this case, I created this bucket. I named it GCS Fuse SFTP. Okay. So I have all the components. The next next step is to set up uh, to basically attach this bucket as your drive. Okay, so let me go here. Even before doing that, test if you can do SSH into your virtual machine. So I tested it. So the command for that is gcloud compute SSH. You give the project name and you give the instance name. Since my instance name is SFTP instance, I ran this command and I was able to log in into my instance. As you can see, the instance is up and running. Then uh, since this is a R R Red Hat Enterprise Linux, I'm gonna use yum uh, to install my uh, packages. So I'm gonna run this sudo yum install yum ut uh, utilities. And it takes a couple of minutes and once it's done, you probably see a message complete. The next thing you need to do is to create a file and uh, write these uh, lines in, into that file. So I have this command, sudo t is basically creating a file and, and uh, putting the content in a specific location in a specific directory. So in this case, the file is GCS fuse repo and in, inside that repo, I'm gonna simply type up these lines. I'm gonna paste these, uh, these, these commands and uh, these line items in the description. So feel free to grab them or else you can also find them in the official GitHub page of GCS fuse. So scroll through Red Hat and you should probably find them here. Okay. So once I have them, uh, the next thing I need to do is to install GCS Fuse. So we need, since we are talking about GCS Fuse, so we need to install GCS Fuse. So the command for that is sudo yum install GCS Fuse. So probably takes few minutes. You can, you should probably see complete. And once that's done, uh, go to your root folder. As you can see, I'm in the root folder and create a new um, uh, directory. RHEL is a RHEL mount is a directory, and once you do that, just to see what are all the file systems available in your virtual machine, run this command dfh. It will show you all the uh, file systems attached to it. The next step you need to do is to attach, connect, whatever you want to call the storage bucket to the storage bucket to the newly created. Uh, directory, in this case, RHEL. So, so the command for doing that is GCS fuse and bucket name and the directory name. In this, in my case, the bucket name is GCS fuse SFTP and the directory name is RHEL mount. 
So once you do that behind the scenes, the GCS views package attaches this bucket to your directory in your virtual machine. That once that's done uh, to test right after you are, you've done the, with this steps, you wanted to make sure if you are files are getting created in that specific folder. So make sure you uh, change your directory to RHEL mount and uh, cre create a sample file. In this case, I simply created a test file and the test file you can see within the virtual machine, I can see the test file you know, showing up when I do LS. But our expectation is this file should be created in the GCS bucket. So let's go back to the GCS views, uh, the, the, the GCS bucket and see if that file is created. So as you can see, the same text file which I just created in the command prompt in the terminal got created inside the bucket. That's all for this video. It is very simple to use it. And uh, what I've observed uh, based on my experience is there is a slight lag in terms of creating these files and inserting them into the GCS bucket. I'm assuming for the larger files, it probably takes more time, maybe more lag time into creating this. But uh, yeah, I mean, there is a trade off, right? If, if, if there is something that we can accomplish to, with easier number of steps, there's gotta be some trade offs. But I found it really helpful, especially if you wanted to move files, through, uh, SFTP files from from a from a from a from a machine that you have to a GCS bucket, and you don't have uh, an automated process. This way, you you can create a virtual machine, set it up as an SFTP server, and connect that connect that SF, SFTP server from your local machine, and move files. It's plain and simple. You don't have to go through any uh, any hard processes here, but uh, I found it really useful. If you found this video uh, informative and useful, uh, yeah, consider uh, subscribing my channel and uh, let me know if there is a if there is an efficient or a better way of doing the same thing, where uh, GCS bucket can be used as a file system. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in another tutorial.